Well, I can only speak for um, our intention and our responsibility. And we feel it's important to be open and candid about the threat from Russia. It's not just words, of course. You are seeing specifics uh, that we've been laying out here, including over 100,000 troops on Ukraine's borders, uh, amassed on the border with more troops and weaponry on the way. Uh, they've also been surging troops into Belarus, which our uh, UN ambassador spoke about this morning, seeing about five, a surge of 5,000 troops in Belarus with plans for more in the coming weeks. Uh, we're also seeing Russia undertake efforts to destabilize Ukraine, including through a possible false flag operation. It's dangerous. Uh, we've been saying for more than a week that Russia could invade at any time. Uh, I would note, though, that um, our effort is to ensure we're informing the American public and the global community of the seriousness of this threat, even as we work with the Ukrainians, with the Europeans, to ensure we are not only preparing them and providing them supplies that they need, uh, but standing up and making clear to the Russians what the consequences will be. So I can't speak to the uh, motivation or the reasoning uh, for the comments of uh, Ukrainian leadership. I can only speak to what our efforts are here. And NATO said Russia had stepped up deployments to Ukraine's northern neighbor Belarus in recent days and was expected to have 30,000 troops there for joint military exercises this month. The Russia-Belarus exercises, running until February 20, have provided Moscow with cover to further increase forces near Ukraine at a time when the United States and Britain have warned that Moscow may be gearing up for war. Ukraine's defense minister said Russia had currently massed a total of 115,000 troops near Ukraine's borders.